So after that little problem with uh, Onyxia, I just wanted to go for a ride, so I'm taking out the KDX I'm trying to sell. So the KDX isn't perfect perfect. Um, I don't really like it. Uh, it's kind of funny because it's pretty damn close to the same thing that I uh, had three years ago. Which was my 83. I guess I just got so used to the YZ400 that this is just weird to me. I did like that KDX 250 a lot better. Ow. I didn't grab gloves, did I? I'm fucking squidding it. So as I was saying, this bike's not really perfect. It still doesn't run like I want it to. Uh, turns out the... The float needle has a leak, so she's pissing gas out the float bowl reservoir, like constantly. And, yeah, I need gloves. This is weird. And unfortunately, the peacock, pet cock, pet cock, I said cock. So unfortunately, the the cock. No, I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, the cock. That cock. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. Oh, shit. So, unfortunately, the. That cock leaks. When you have it in the off position, it still dribbles. So, when this thing sits overnight, it's actually like losing fuel. So I have to actually stick a gas can under it with the hose sticking in it, collecting all the fuel. King, I have gloves. like two strokes you know I like the power that they have that all of a sudden that sudden burst of like hey here you go they're nice and light they're nimble uh, very easy to start as you can tell from my last video Especially when you uh, stall them out when you're braking really hard. <laughs> On Ixia would have never let me do that. Ah, so I just wanted to go out and have a nice ride, do some footage for you guys, but unfortunately... That's not going to happen today. Like I said, I don't really want to beat on this too much, so I'm not going to go too far. But as you saw from my last video, Onyxie has been really, like, uh, picky lately. And, uh, I haven't really been happy with her. She's been really letting me down. I'd love to have a two-stroke, but I can't put one on the road in uh, Massachusetts. Not unless it's like from the 70s or early 80s. And it's like, fuck that. 
I'm not gonna ride something that out of date. Even riding this is like, I want something with a little more <laughs> modern uh, suspension. This suspension actually hurts me. Don't tell me I ran out of gas. <laughs> Sounds like it. Damn it. That's gonna be a long push. Crap. Why is this happening to me today? <laughs> I thought I had more gas in it than that. Yep. Wow. Guess we're pushing home. <laughs> I'm glad you don't weigh as much as Onyxia. Wow. That sucks. See how far I can get on this little amount of fuel. Crap, I didn't really want to stop, but... And she has no fuel. She must have pissed it all out. This thing is empty. <laughs> I can't believe I ran out of fucking gas. Unbelievable. Well, I got two choices. <laughs> it's the second time I'm saying this today. I lock the bike up here, I walk home, I go get some gas, and I ride back. <laughs> then walk back and get it, or I just push it home. Oh, fuck. I'm just going to push it for a while. It's not that heavy. I've done this before. I should have stayed on the trail that was all downhill, though. <laughs> Alright, I'm on my hill. I'm home free. <laughs> Really didn't think she would run out of gas that quick. <laughs> but, oh well, what can you do? Till next time, everybody. J-Rat out. Bye.